Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's episode, I'm going to review and break down on Murder Jones episode 2, Heartbeat. It starts off at this humongous mansion and the glimpse of the humans. We see N serving glasses and bumping into V. As they reach for each other's hand, a light sparks and they both blush. This indicates how N started to develop feelings for V. We can also see how J kicks in, which means their relationship as teammates has been toxic for a pretty long time. Even to this day, as a girl approaches, her name's Tessa, she brings an unnamed drone. We can see by the color of its eyes that it just started developing a murder drone. Some even suggest that this drone is Uzi's mother. Uzi's mother is named Nori Doorman, but I'm not buying it. As we can tell from N's eyes that this unnamed drone looked very familiar to him and he knows her. The flashback ends and we can tell it's a memory because of how glitchy it is and how N seems to be scared of it. At the spaceship, we see N and Uzi interacting about the humans and about how the murder drones didn't have a good communication relay. At the beginning of episode one, we see Uzi wanting to save the world and help the worker drones. Her plan went from save the world to kill all humans. And we also see her gl eye glitching and absolute sulfur infecting her, which shows the sudden change in her personality. It goes up to a point where even N questions Uzi if what they're doing is even right. In episode 2, Heartbeat, we also see some crazy ass villains. One of them is Jay. But in episode 1, we see Jay getting shot. But unlike N, she doesn't regenerate. Well, that's because is that she has taken so much damage that they had to send an auto run program, Absolute Solver, to find the parts they need to repair Jay. In this episode, in episode 1, we do see Absolute Solver infecting Uzi in the middle of Uzi and Jade's battle, and Rabuti, and in his systems typed and saying, Absolute Solver blocked by Administrator Kine. Now, we don't know who Kine is, but I'm guessing he or she controls Absolute Solver most of all. We see Absolute Solver infecting Uzi at the end as well, but in episode 2, it gets crazier. We see Absolute Solver infect Jay and see her into this crazy demon. At the beginning, we also see it infecting Uzi's eye and somehow able to shatter the mirror. Absolute Solver also somehow infected Doll, one of the side characters in episode 1. But considering the fact her and Lizzie show up at a lot of scenes in episode 2, that makes doesn't really make her a side character anymore. It also seems to infect Uzi's mother as well. Now let's go to Doll. Although Doll has one line throughout the series, for how she seems to really be is an important character, especially how she knows how to use the Absolute Solver more than Uzi does. She also knew and she had a connection with Eldritch J, or I called the Sleeping Paralysis Demon watching your soul sleep at night while you're just trying to stare at it with no explanation. Absolute Solver seems to be a really important character and a really big part of Murder Drones, especially since I know we're going to see more of it in future episodes. Well, that's about it. I absolutely loved episode 2. I also thought it was pretty emotional when Uzi and N friendship tore apart with trust and empathy. I know their friendship will be restored soon because the whole series is mostly carried by these two. I also loved how they showed the softer side of V and showed her backstory with N. I personally thought it was really cute and I really want them to end up together. But with N going to prom with Uzi, I don't think that's happening. I also loved how V was secretly jealous of Uzi being with N, which just explained the way she looks at Uzi. I thought, personally, I thought Eldritch J was pretty cool considering the fact it was able to make holograms of its victims and tricking their victims into thinking they're real, but they're not. Honestly, I thought Ultra J could have been stronger, and I thought Elder J died too quickly. Something I noticed about uh, Murder Jones Episode 2 is how much the animation looked glossy and more realistic, except for the human skeletons. I personally really enjoyed Episode 2 and everything about it. But I really was looking forward to see N in his kill mode, but seeing him flip through the air with his chainsaw hands is awesome. I hope in future episodes, they would like, kind of like, show us episodes about Tessa, and maybe we would know who that is, because Tessa really seems to be an important character. 
I don't know why no one's really talking about her, but she seems to find mo- murder drones from the dump, well, the worker drones, and turn them into this servant. And the unnamed drone, she started having like these yellow eyes and glitching. So I'm guessing that that was the beginning of when she was turning into a murder drone. I also think that N and that unnamed drone have some relationship together, like relationship as like, I think they're like siblings maybe, but honestly, they're all really important characters. I don't really know why people aren't really talking about Doll, especially how she's also a really important character, especially how she knows how to use Absolute Solver. And the truth is, I don't think... I think Doll was the one who killed her parents. I mean, whenever I just look at the scene and he says, I watched my parents die. Usually when Uzi talks about it, she talks about it with rage or his or her dad. But like this time it's different. There's a lot of things that happened in episode two and a lot of secrets and Easter eggs that have been revealed. But honestly, I really hope that they would like show us who Tessa is. And Kine, I searched it up. It was actually like a short name for Cynthia. So maybe uh, this there is a girl controlling Absolute Solver. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And bye!